Hi everyone, this is Dr. Yasin, and today I will be presenting upon the energy devices that we use in surgery. The heat cures when everything fails. It was the saying of the Hippocrates. In old times, heat application was one of the most common modality in curing different diseases, as it was a pre-antibiotic era and there was no advent of modern surgical and arthroscopic techniques. Even today, when we suffer from a backache or an ankle sprain, we see our grandmother arriving towards us and prescribing us with heart fermentation. When Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, there was a modified version of the light bulb invented with a tubular projection arising from it, and it was inserted perfectly into the patient for treating his piles. Uh, fissure or uh, fistula. While performing open and laparoscopic surgeries, there are different instruments used for cutting or dissection. They are hooks, uh, scalpels, uh, peanut with a grasper, etc. But all these come with a complication. That is bleeding because some tissue that may seem innocent uh, may contain a bleeding vessel. Here is where the role of electrosurgery comes into the play. Electrosurgery is the most convenient way of dissection. There are complications associated with the electrosurgery, but the rate is just from one to two percent. And it depends from uh, uh, one to another center. The electrosurgery enables us to perform neat and precise dissection and it gives us a bloodless field in surgery. There are two different terms that are used interchangeably and are often confused with one another. One is the electrocartery and the other is electrosurgery. <clears throat> electrocartery devices that were last manufactured in the year 2000, since then its manufacture has been stopped. It was a portable handheld devices that uh, basically operated on a DC current, there was a one, there was a positive and a negative pole. Current flow from positive to the negative pole uh, through a high resistant wire, and this high resistant wire it heated because of the resistance offered to the flow of the current. And when this heated wire, the tip of the instrument, when it was applied to the living tissue, desired effects of coagulation or ablation of the tissue was uh, achieved. In contrast, electrosurgery, it is something else. Uh, this is uh, the thing which, we bas which basically we use in our uh, daily OT uh, rooms. <clears throat> there is basically this device known as the electrosurgical unit or electrosurgery generator. Then we can attach a limitless number of devices ranging from uh, uh, a hook, a grasper, a scalpel or anything to it, right? <coughs> this is a generator, electrosurgical generator, <coughs> then current leaves from the electrosurgical generator to an electrode known as the active electrode or working electrode, which is held in the hand of the surgeon. Then from this, the current <coughs> enters the body of the patient, uh, flows through the body of the patient, <coughs> It uh, basically want to leave the body of the patient and we provide the current with the convenient most way for leaving the body by applying a dispersive electrode directly on the body of a patient. So this is the dispersive or the return electrode. <clears throat> Unfortunately, if the current finds an alternative way through uh, any monitoring devices or if the body of the patient is touching directly to any earthed met metal like the table or uh, if the patient is wearing any ornaments etc then complication may arise in the form of bones as you can see in this case these bones are occurred because the current has flown uh, through this uh, uh, naked piece of metal right in the OT table Based upon uh, the positions of the electrode, 
the instruments of the diathermy are the electrosurgical unit that can be uh, categorized into two main categories the monopolar in which actual electrode is in the hand of the person of the surgeon and the return electrode or the dispersive electrode is applied somewhere else on the body of the patient while in bipolar both the active and the return electrode are in the head of the surgeon the principle of electrosurgery is simple there is a high frequency alternating current of the range 500 kilohertz to 3.3 megahertz uh, there is basically oscillation of ions in the surrounding cells when the active electrode it touches the uh, living uh, tissue in nearby uh, tissue there is oscillation or two and four moments of electrons right and this uh, high frequency moment of electron it produces heat due to severe friction force and this uh, friction force uh, which produces heat the heat is used to denature the protein and to evaporate the intracellular water. When the temperature is at the range of 60 degrees centigrade, the protein denatures. Then between 60 and 90 degrees centigrade, the collagen and elastin, they melt and coagulation effect is achieved. While if the water evaporates, this is uh, something which is achieved at 100 degrees centigrade, the cells burst away and we see the cutting effect of the cartridge. The instrument it should be noted that it never is heated. The tissue is heated first and then heat may be transferred from the tissue to the device. Just a brief summary, two and four moment of electrons, electrical energy converted to connecting energy and connecting energy is used to produce heat. You can see clearly the difference between the direct current and the alternating current. There is no change in polarity, unidirectional flow of the, flow of the current, while in the alternating current, you can see the two and four moments of the electrons right this is something which happens in uh, in electrical surgeries 500000 times per second from now onward we should not confuse the word electrocartery with electrosurgery now the question must arise in our mind what is the safest frequency for electrosurgery or why do we use high frequency rather than using the conventional current which uh, operates at 60 hertz uh, our uh, daily home appliance they operate at a frequency range of 60 hertz right up to 100 kilohertz the nerve and muscles are stimulated above 100 kilohertz the nerve and muscle stimulation ceases so this is the range which is safe for electrosurgery and at this frequency there is no activation of the action potential or no uh, electrical shock effect is produced basically the Wabda and our government, they want us to be shocked, right? First by sending us uh, heavy utility bills at the end of every month. And also if we touch, uh, unfortunately, or accidentally a live wire, right? Why? Because the shock is, in fact, good for us. First, uh, it is an attempt to shake us off from the source of the electricity. And secondly, uh, we are saved from the electrical burns, right? Two main modes of the electrosurgery, the cutting versus the coagulation. In cutting, there is low voltage continuous waveform. As you can see, this is the low voltage but continuous waveform created by the electrosurgical unit. But if there is a high voltage uh, waves sent in pulsatile form, then the coagulation effect may be seen. Now let's move towards the uh, advanced uh, technology bipolar devices, the ligature. The technical name for the ligature is Electrothermal Bipolar Tissue Sealing System. It is a smart device that can reliably seal vessels of large diameter up to 7 millimeter. It is smart in the sense that it takes feedback from the tissue and avoids overcooking of the tissue. If overcooking occurs, the elastin and collagen that have been enough melted uh, up to 90 degrees centigrade, they will be denatured and the seal will be broken again. So, like a sure, it has the advantage to uh, take feedback from the tissue that it has been enough cooked or not. This was the develop. Uh, this was a technology basically developed back in the 1998. The conventional diathermy that we have previously uh, discussed. Uh, this is the technology of 1940s, and it can seal vessel only up to three millimeter in diameter. It is manually controlled, hence the charring effect of tissue and the smoke and sticking effect they are produced. And overcooking 
uh, occurs as uh, there is no automatic control of cooking or current supply and it can cause re-bleeding. This is a set of different Liga Shure devices uh, that can be connected with this specific generator. Next are the ultrasound energy using systems. Ultrasound waves are basically mechanical waves of the range about 2000, 20,000 hertz or 20 kilohertz. There is an ultrasound generator, electrical current supply, and a handheld portable device known as the piezoelectric transducer. First device using the uh, ultrasound waves is the harmonic scalpel. It converts the ultrasound energy into mechanical energy. There is, uh, in this grasper, there is a piezoelectric crystal, a specific crystal which oscillates at the range of 55 kilohertz, right? And uh, because of this mechanical effect, the protein denature and heat is produced, which can be used to seal the vessel. There are certain advantages of the harmonic scalpel. First, there is minimal thermal spread. There is no charring of the tissue seen, no smoke produced, hence no smoke related toxicity or no obscuring of the field while performing the uh, laparoscopic surgery. And there is no risk of ther electrical or uh, th thermal energy uh, uh, injury. Uh, now, it is also associated with certain disadvantages. First of all, it is too much costly. There is high operator dependence and cannot properly seal the vessel of diameter greater than 5 mm. Next devices using the ultrasound technology are the QSA devices. By QSA, we mean Cavitron Ultrasonic Surgical Aspirators. This is basically a device having a platinum tip. Uh, a supply of irrigation for normal saline and a powerful suction device. So it causes cavitation uh, dissection using 23 kilohertz and irrigation and aspiration at the same time, right? It utilizes a hollow titanium tip that vibrates in longitudinal axis, fragmenting susceptible tissue while irrigating and aspiration, aspirating from the surgical side at the same time. It has the quality to selectively ablate a tissue which has having a high water content like the liver parenchyma, the glandular and the neoplastic cells. If we can find its uses in a non-resectable brain and spinal cord tumors. So far we have discussed two different uh, technologies, two main different technologies. One of the are electrical energy using devices and the other are ultrasound using ultrasound energy or mechanical energy using devices but then next we have hybrid devices right which combines both the ultrasound and the electrical energy are the bipolar uh, devices <clears throat> and that are the thunder beads right the th thunder beads it is uh, similar to uh, uh, harmonic scalpel in a sense that uh, it uh, uses the ultrasound energy, right? So it has got a good and a quick cutting effect. Ultrasound devices that are famous for their uh, good cutting abilities. But at the same time, the electrical energy devices, uh, the bipolar energy devices, they are well known for their uh, good sealing and coagulating effects, right? So Thunderbeat uh, combines or adds the benefits of both of them. It reliably seals the vessel up to 7 mm diameter. It has quick and fine cutting skills, improved visibility due to reduced mist and smoke generation, and fewer instrument exchange while performing this surgery. Thank you very much. It was the end of the slideshow. If you have any, any query or question, you can definitely ask me in the comment section below.